and welcome to this week's episode of Cooking with Michael. On today's episode, we will be making a peanut butter loaf with a peanut butter drizzle. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? To make this, we will need two blah 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 cut. To make this, we will need two tablespoons of margarine, soft or hard, one cup of milk, one large egg, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, three quarters of a cup of peanut butter, as well as three quarters of a cup of chopped peanuts, four teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and two cups of flour. Now that is only for the loaf. I will tell you what needs to go into making the peanut butter drizzle later on. So first what we have to do is combine the peanut butter, margarine, and sugar in a bowl. I softened the hardened margarine slightly just to make it a little bit easier. So you want to cream this together and get a nice consistent texture. Alright, so there we have the sugar, peanut butter, and margarine combined. So now we will add in the egg. Being sure to get no shell. And then we will add in the milk. Now you'll want to do this gently as to not splash it everywhere. As I just did. I'm actually going to switch to a whisk for this, it will make it a little bit easier. You could also use a electric blender. Now that is mixed there nice and evenly. So what I will now do is move over to the bowl of flour. So what we will do here is combine the chopped nuts. the half teaspoon of salt four teaspoons of baking powder so simply mixing those up take our peanut butter mixture and add that in now mix this together until moistened. So this looks like a pretty good mixture here. Now what you want to do with this is place it into a greased pan, a greased loaf pan with the dimensions 9 by 5 by 3 approximately. This however is a little bit smaller. Eight and a half by four and a half by two and a half. 
I think we'll manage. Hopefully. And there we are. Now we will place the loaf in the oven at 350 degrees for approximately 55 to 60 minutes or until you can stick a toothpick in there and nothing comes off. While that is in the oven, what we will do is make the peanut butter drizzle. So what you need to make that is a third cup of water, a quarter cup of corn syrup, and a third of a cup of peanut butter. So we have already in here a third cup of water. We will add a quarter cup of corn syrup if it ever comes out of the bottle. And we will add a third cup of peanut butter. Obviously don't make this if you're allergic to peanut butter. I've, I'm assuming that the majority of you could figure that out. But I should put that as a disclaimer, I guess, because you never know. So don't feed this to anyone that's allergic to peanut butter. Um, that could be bad. This may contain peanuts. I have a feeling. Just get all that in there. And then start mixing. Let's get light. Obviously this isn't mixing the best, but all right, so I've given up on mixing it in this. So what I will do is switch to a larger bowl and a fork. Transferring the peanut butter mixture. So you want to mix that until it's a smooth um, mixture. Mine is not quite entirely smooth. I'm not really. I've never done this before, honestly. I don't know how smooth is smooth. So this looks pretty good to me. Um, it may separate if you have it sitting for a while, so be sure to mix it again before you use it. All right, so my camera died. So I've removed it from the oven, allowed it to cool for 10 minutes, approximately, and then placed on a wire rack. Now what I will do is take the peanut butter drizzle and cover. I'm not so much drizzling as completely covering the peanut butter loaf. So I've put down this uh, tin foil. You could use uh, wax paper, however, I didn't have it. So let's see how this goes. Let's get some more on there, ooze it down the sides. That looks delicious. I think it's about ready to eat. Although, I'm going to transfer it to a tray and place in the fridge so that the drizzle will solidify a little bit so it will be easier to cut. Alright, so I have chilled the peanut butter loaf and now it's time to cut and eat. So let's take a slice right off the end. The moment of truth.
This is amazing. Definitely have a big glass of milk when you eat this. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Cooking with Michael. Be sure to check out my other videos and tune in next week where we will be cooking who knows what.